Paul Davis having missed 18 games all in all after what was supposed to be a nine match ban re-emerges leading Arsenal out as captain in the absence of Tony Adams Adams unexpectedly pulling out overnight with injury so Paul Davis to make a remarkable return with the captain's armband he replaces Michael Thomas and Gus Caesar will play in defence in place of Adams two Arsenal changes from the team which slumped out of the FA Cup at home to West Ham in midweek Everton going through in their replay and in fifth place ten points behind and badly needing the win today and a big day for the number eight Kevin Richardson as for any player returning to play on a former ground so on a very blustery Goodison day Kevin Ratcliffe and Paul Davis the two captains had generally been expected that uh, Richardson would be the man to make way for Paul Davis when he did return but in fact Michael Thomas is the unlucky one he drops down to substitute with Perry Groves. The Everton subs, Neil McDonald and Stuart McCall. And up front, very interesting to see how the number 10, Tony Cotty, gets on against the team who he turned down in the summer, though they were as keen as Everton were to sign him. Cotty with 11 goals this season probably missing more than anybody Graham Sharp in the Everton attack but he's got Wayne Clark alongside him this afternoon and Arsenal know they mustn't allow him any rope here's Ratcliffe and Gus Caesar at the back remarkably starting a game for the first time since the last match of last season which was away to Everton a 2-1 win that day at Goodison for Arsenal which meant that they finished sixth in the table in the end and Everton fourth as league leaders of course that Arsenal come here this afternoon four successive league wins on the trot now putting them two points in front of Norwich and Rowcastle on one of his characteristic breaks and Merson in the centre and Southall's not come and Merson has made it it's nine goals in 12 games break from defence which really caught Everton cold one minute Lukic was fielding a rather poor ball from Bracewell the next Rowcastle was in and with the wind perhaps just holding the ball up Neville Southall made no attempt to get right out to Merson who took his chance Two minutes into the second half, an Arsenal lead. And now Richardson. Well, perhaps that'll liven everybody up. For Shidi. who could claim to have uh, started the goal really and it was a very quick break down the right hand side and Everton badly caught out Nevin over the top Shidi side against Clark <laughs> now 
Now Smith down the right hand side. Dixon losing out. Now Leary goes backwards. We'll leave it for Dixon. back from him Davis oh, nicely done by Richardson for Rowcastle and Smith has got the second a lovely little header from Rowcastle's cross and a super build up two on the right hand side it's two in five minutes it's Arsenal two up ball turned out to Rowcastle who decided to go for the byline held off Sheedy and look at Smith here very closely marked by Watson who flew at it with him but the Arsenal man gets the touch and Everton have a lot to do now here's Reid and Richardson stopping for a moment play goes on They won by Merson and now Smith. And here they come again. Once again, Winterburn ever ready to go outside. Marwood comes inside to try one. And not a bad effort. So Alan Smith did the bulk of his scoring earlier in the season, but he's weighing in with one every three or four games now and that was a beautifully taken header to give him 17 this season has got hold of that one and Marwood wants it and gets it oh and Southall has to kick it away well it could have been three and ten minutes you could see Marwood in the centre of the picture streaming for it made a bit of space perhaps didn't hit it quite hard enough but Southall still wasn't able to hold it and Smith went in Now Nevin and Reed onside. And real possibilities for Everton. Well, the second half a good deal livelier than the first, thank goodness. Winterburn. And Richardson, a nice one too, and Richardson is in, and he's got it. That's the one he wanted. And the first of the season, I think, for Kevin Richardson. And Everton, the team who he'd picked to score it against. Played the one to himself. He was there, Merson was there. The defence was really nowhere. And Everton suddenly face a drubbing because we've got a good quarter of an hour left. Stuart McCall immediately brought on for Peter Reid. McCall wearing 12. But they've got to do something pretty dramatic. Groves having replaced Merson as well. Immediately after the goal, but here's Sheedy and Watson, well held. Pat Nevin then with it. And Watson across goal. 
and Cotty. And he's given a goal. Well, that's extraordinary. We can have another look as Watson headed it back. Well, he must have decided it was behind the line as McDonald nudged it forward. And it's another away victory for Arsenal. The two goals in five minutes early in the second half. Paul Merson and then Alan Smith's lovely near post header really doing for Arsenal and when Kevin Richardson got one against his old club there wasn't any doubt about the result only the scoreline Everton credited with one although there must be some doubt about whether the ball actually crossed the line but it was really too late to make any significant difference and Marwood joined the other players on the pitch at the end and the crowd typically of Merseyside giving a great ovation to the Arsenal side who maintained their hold at the top and depending on the Norwich result could even strengthen it. Winners here by 3-1.